Hello and welcome to WASP 3D Feature Tutorial. In the following tutorial, users will learn how to create bar graphs, positional linking of objects and creating graph control for data entry. Let's show you how a bar graph can be created. We are using a pre-made template with background material and a reflective floor. Users can create bars from various 3D objects like cylinder, 3D grid, n-gon, tile, spline and extrude. Let's start by creating a cube. As per the design requirements, modify the cube's parameters. Here, we have changed the width, height and the depth of the cube. From the material editor, shortcut key F5. Create material or use the inbuilt material library. Select and drag the material onto the cube. Create other design elements and rename them. Now, we will create 3D text for label and bar value. Again, as per design requirements, modify the 3D text parameter values. Next, we will bound the 3D text and define the height and width for the bounded box. Adjust the text and change the font properties. Press F2 to rename. Align text with the bar. Once the text is properly aligned, define the text as a child of the bar slash cube. In the following segments of the tutorial, we will show how positional linking it can be done so that the text moves along with the cube on data change. We now Select and group all objects, shortcut Ctrl G. Rename the group. Now, to see reflections on the floor, add group to the render texture. Place the bar group as required. Adding dummy text values. User tags will be assigned to text. Finally, animate the objects as desired. Let's see how user tags can be added to variable fields. Select the 3D text. In the Parameters pool, select Text Property and right-click to add user tags. Repeat this step for bar values as well. As the height of the bar will be a variable, select Cube, go to Track View, shortcut key F7, and add user tag to the last keyframe of the height property. Select the keyframe and right-click on it to add user tag.
Please note that copying the object after assigning user tags will copy them as well. This eliminates the need to adding user tags separately. After adding user tags, we will make copies of the group to make more bars. To do so, go to Viewport, select the group and press the Shift key. Give offset in x-axis and frame offset for offset and animation. Press proceed to confirm. Add new bars to create render texture. Change color of the bars. Drag and drop material from library to respective bars. Cue and play the final design and animation. Now, let's see how positional linking can be done. We begin by selecting the child object which is the 3D text in this case. Go to Parameters tab and select the Node tab. In the Link type, select Positional Link option. As the height of the bar will increase in Y axis, we link the text in the cube in Y axis. Repeat this step for all the bars. In this segment, users will learn about creating form. Go to Form tab. Select Graph Control from WASP Control Panel. Select the control and change its properties. As we have 4 bars in our template, so number of rows will be 4. The maximum height, depends upon maximum bar height in our design. Define the graph type as bar. Double click on the graph control to get the graph designer window. Drag and drop the user tags to respective columns. Press OK when done. Finally, save the form and check the template on Sting Client. Drag the template to playlist to see the output. Press Alt key and drag the template to playlist. Right-click on the instance to enter data. Enter data, give slug name and press post.
Finally, double-click to load and play template.